So I went to a LARP soft event called Enter the Wasteland Part 2. I missed Part 1. LARPing is live action role playing, but you're a nerd and you already knew that. The soft is airsoft, soft BB guns. Before going, I didn't know how much actual role playing would be involved and no one would give me a straight answer. I figured out why later, because it's hard to explain what kind of role-playing you're doing. Anyway, I came away from it, sunburnt to hell and back, sore in the legs, but with a knowledge of what it's like to murder a fellow human being in a survival situation, and I, I haven't been able to get my erection to go away. So this is what we're doing while we're waiting for fucking Ben and Andrew to show up. Mixing drinks. Ooh. Um, in 1954, uh, an explosion destroyed a gunpowder uh, production facility located near Hubbard, Ohio. The plant, which had been in production since the 1980s, was abandoned and over the years, the remaining buildings, bridges, and rail lines became reforested and reclaimed by nature. The site was reconditioned to provide Airsoft players one of the most realistic gaming battlefields available anywhere. The bombed damage condition of the buildings and the shell hole crater in the streets and the strategically located sandbags and log bunkers all combined to add extraordinary realism to various game scenarios. This was our site. Battlefront paintball, although we didn't do paintball, obviously, because it's dumb, it hurts more, it's way more expensive, and you look less cool doing it, and it's also dumb. Um, since I don't own any Aerosoft gear uh, myself, I borrowed some from my friend Seth and Ben. Soy boys! Uh, because they have plenty. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they have plenty. They spend a lot of disposable income on this stupid hobby. Um, in exchange... They, uh, I supplied the snacks for them, so snackies were on me. Okay, so that's that's a uh, AK. Wait, these yeah. don't. So, don't so is that AK a AR-15? This is an assault rifle number 15, AK-47. Model. Okay. Yeah. They don't fit really. Uh, no. Oh, they're so flat. <laughs> no, that's not a real one. Blue, I just in the open. Yeah, you gotta get up in like that. I like I like the the look of the AFG on there more than I like the AFG. So, I mean, it I, it works. But it, like, yeah, it's a four right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we don't even have everything yet. No. Uh, on the way down to Hubbard, Ohio, we hit up a Walmart for supplies. We purchased a bunch of tarps. To attach to a grill awning like you see in a park. Uh, ben was supposed to bring a tent but got confused and thought the structure we built was the tent. Uh, luckily uh, our shitty tent-like structure withstood the weekend's gale force winds. Uh, it's that one day in gym class. It's parachute day. I had been to one event prior without the LARP aspect to it, um, and one might be curious as to who shows up to Aerosoft events, um, LARPsoft especially. Well, it is an odd cross-section of people. Uh, rural folk, redneck, and hillbillies are a definite prominent aspect, but almost uh, as predominant is the geeky, internet-dwelling cosplay aspect. Uh, often these elements overlap as with someone like me. Uh, most people fell on that spectrum, kind of like the lesbian spectrum of femme to butch, you know? Seth and Ben's group of friends fell far on the geeky side of things, but with knowledge of guns and more specifically aerosoft tech, which is getting more and more bizarre as time goes on. There were a handful of cosplayers, some of which made sense, like uh, people in vault suits, what with the Fallout theme and everything. Uh, others that made very little sense, like a Rick and Morty duo. Uh, we'll talk more about them later. Um, but uh, we didn't cosplay, uh, but we did coordinate our outfits and gear to match, and the shit 
was tight. Um, but most people that showed up to events uh, like these want to cosplay as soldiers, like U.S. soldiers, communist soldiers, uh, three percenters. Some some of them actually are three percenters, uh, ghillie suit, cod players, that kind of thing. Um, there were some socially awkward people, but just a little awkward. Uh, some rural nonsense, if that makes any sense. But overall, people were welcoming and fun to be around. There was one guy who didn't talk to anyone, but was handsome and wore all black and a black scarf and had slick gear, and I took to calling him the Frenchman. Uh, we met some cool Fallout cosplayers, as I mentioned, and we talked about runs we had done in Fallout. And with everyone I met on the first night, uh, which was just getting set up, uh, I was really getting confused about how LARPy this would be. Uh, the only per person missing was uh, Andrew, Ben's friend. Uh, as always, we made fun of him because he wasn't around to defend himself. After settling in, there was four funsies, a night game, and the dark. Uh, so the way that this was all set up was... It was, it was a camping thing if you wanted it to be, or you could show up the next day. So we did the camping thing uh, just for the experience, you know, just to have fun. And then in the morning, the real game would start, and it would go basically until sundown. Um, we got into that game. I got eliminated from it immediately. It was just a free-for-all um, but there was no way to really police it, so people were grouping up, myself included. The guy who who ran it knew full well that there would be cheating involved, so he just was like, whatever. It, it really wasn't about that. It was just about people getting a, to run around and shoot off their gear, you know, before the actual game started. Kind of like a practice run, just getting used to the, uh, you know, scenario, getting warmed up and everything. Um, I got eliminated from it. Uh, I could have gone back in immediately if I wanted to, but I, you know, I just was fine with leaving. I did get someone out before I got out, which I, I really surprised myself. Um, I retired for the night and just ate s'mores with the vault dwellers. Uh, that wasn't part of the story that would unfold the next morning. Seth and Ben got eliminated from the night game, and we retired to read creepypastas and sleep in our giant makeshift structure. I think the root beer one looks like one of these Jim Beam Vanilla. That's going to be so fun. Dude. Okay, so half. Oh, man. Okay, so I want to nip off that, too. You got it, double dog. <clears throat> so you said miles in, the, miles in the trunk? Yeah. Seth, you want to hand him the, uh, hand me the NW? Got here. I am group beer. Uh, doors are locked right now, dude. So now we got one and W out. Let's see. Smile we, also, go. we also got honey, and we also got bird dog blackberry whiskey. Is that what that said? Yeah, yeah. That's fucking disgusting. It sounds like it. Yeah. Don't don't use all the. Uh, Oh, you already use all the gym. all the all the power and all the gym. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, so just make your own craft cocktail real fast. You can have some of this, don't worry. And I got the uh, fire, so I think I want to go with fire. You want to hold that for a second while yep. I put in some work. Boof. Oh, that's perfect. That's... Oh man. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> it's gross now. Cause it's just water and it's just like water and liquor. Ooh, you can do you can do A and W spicy. as well. Do you do the fire one? Yeah, yeah. I did the okay. fire fire with A and W sounds. That's gonna be good too. No good. Did, uh, is the interior light off, Seth? No. Okay, I'll just hit the lock button. Dude, yours smells so vanilla. I know. I know. Okay, come here, come here, Kathy. <laughs> this is gonna be so Ooh. good. Ooh. Let's get this. 
That's really fucking good. Let me, okay. Let me take a nip off that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got, this is a pretty neat one. I mean, it's cool against got that John Wick. Oh, and you can't like, you can't buy this. It never came out. So. It's you special. Say, you say that every time. Because it's oh, hey, you're a little plant, you're a little like, face hair. Oh, hey. Did you say plant? Yeah. Well, plant, hairs. plant hairs. Now is a great time for me to need to like take a piss real bad. Yeah, piss anywhere. We're all That's true. You can't buy Huh? Can't buy this Glock. You can't buy this Glock. Can't buy this Glock. Is that an alien? Yeah. So. I'm going to start this as kind of a, just a little free-for-all since, you know, you guys were able to show up early and that's a huge help for us, so definitely yeah. appreciate that. Um, you free emissions. So, yeah. Damn. Yeah. So, everybody signed a waiver, correct? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You can get you on that. Uh, so, pretty much here's how we're going to do it. This is going to be a free-for-all. So, for you to respawn, uh, we just ask that you take it to the edge of the field, kind of outside view of anybody else and then like count to 30 and then bring it in this is for just for fun so we're not like really tallying anything um i would just suggest that you don't take it too far off the field this is obviously lots of woods there are yeah there are wild animals out there not even kidding so if you see anything that's a miss or you see an animal obviously do not approach it don't shoot the shit out of it yell real world like real fucking loud that's also anybody takes a spill or anything like that yell real world the next video i'll be releasing is our nighttime reading after that i'll be explaining the story that unfolded with enter the waste 2. do know that i don't have footage of the game itself uh, since i don't own a gopro uh, maybe that will change uh, maybe i can get a gopro knockoff uh, if I get that Patreon money, um, just just a suggestion. Uh, <laughs> thanks for indulging me in this blog. I really enjoyed the experience and wanted to share it with everyone. I'll see you tomorrow with a 20 or minute so reading of a creepy pasta of two creepy pastas with Seth in Ben Soybo.